Right, this is uh, an early preview of the loop looping uh, VST that I've been making. Um, so, uh, alongside the instant sampler, um, which I have previously uploaded, I have also created this uh, looping VST. So what it does is it's got an incoming audio buffer you can see here, um, which is, as I'm talking, uh, it's, you can see it is um, recording everything that's coming in. It's not sending anything out at the moment. And there's a circular loop here of 16 bars. Uh, again, this is hosted in Savvy Host, which currently set at 120 BPM. So there's a transport here, so you've written in juice. But um, yeah, so you can see essentially where we're at in terms of bars and what's going on. Um, yeah, so the idea is that if you wanted to loop um, content that you have created, <laughs> Um, then and you know on the fly, then you would be able to just um, play some stuff in, or um, uh, or yeah, or, or or just basically you know be able to sort of the way loopers work, right? Which is just to repeat stuff that's happened already. Um, I did implement a metronome function. Uh, so if I click this. Click this is um, primarily, I know other doors like um, Ableton and have metronome built in, but I wanted to do this for, for timing purposes so that I can see that when I think it's the first beat of the bar or second or third, that actually the samples come out at the right time. Um, yeah, so that's just going big, bok, 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 lovely, our favorite uh, metronome. But essentially the way it works is um, I used to have previews here for each of the bars that I'd captured, but I haven't because I'm trying to reduce the amount of processing overhead. But essentially, what I can do is if I turn on the actually metronome, I can go uh, big bock 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 big bock 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 big bock 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 big bock 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 big bock. So what that does is um, just loops the last bar of audio. So this is showing you what's happening in the, the big buffer and the stuff is just going round and round and round and round. And I've got one bar of looped sample here. So that's all cool. Um, I can then m manipulate this loop um, by putting in an overdub. Level down slightly. Big bock bock bock. So there you go. Um, so that basically shows the looping function. Uh, so what it will do is, um, as you notice, when I press this bar here, um, notice when I press this bar here. So it starts on. Press this bar here. So it starts. Notice when I press. So it starts on here, the start so of a bar loop. Here. So um, that's why I put the metronome on. So it goes. So if I if I choose to the the bar, for example, um, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, so three. So the loop four, when you five, click the loop six, enable. Seven, eight. One, it two, three, um, four, starts five, the loop seven, on the start eight, of the bar eight, and it will just play through that four, bar's, um, bar's beats worth of stuff. Two, three, so anyway, that's four, essentially eight, it really. Eight, eight, um, you've one, got some two, input and output three, gains. Five, six, seven, and as I said eight, before, you've got the ability one, to overdub two, into this four, into this loop. Five, six, seven, um, eight, one, two, yeah, what I'm four, trying to do is make it... Seven, eight, one, two, um, so what I want to do is make it a little bit more... Um, uh, user friendly, a bit more robust, and then also I think once you've recorded the loop to do um, not to lose it every time you turn it off, um, and then to do a bit more um, like loop manipulation. But um, yeah, so basically, this is where we're at at the moment. Um, yeah, I will, uh, yeah, I'm I, yeah, obviously interested in, in feedback and stuff. So if you've got any 
um, views as to sort of how to make this better, then please do uh, let me know. I'm still working on it. I'll link to the <coughs> uh, instant sampler um, video from this one. And yeah, again, if you're interested in this kind of content and you'd like to see more, then please do, um, if you've got some feedback, please leave a comment. If you like the video, please click like. And if you want to see more of this, then please do click subscribe. Um, otherwise, I shall catch you at the next time. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.